Hey, yo, I don't think I realized that we had new bus to drop in. So first off, that's dope. And then this is literally my first reaction, I think, to Kendrick Lamar on the channel. So I'm hyped about it. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys, third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, like I said, I you know, Bus is an OG, so I never know when he's gonna drop, if he's gonna drop. I don't expect any new music from Busta. So now that he's got a new album coming out, you know, it's kinda it's kinda gonna be a vibe. We're gonna see what it's all about. But somebody that I've been long overdue on the channel has been Kendrick Lamar. And I've been a fan of Kendrick Lamar since section 80. I saw him like in front of 300 other people maybe for 20 bucks like the day after Good Kid Mad City dropped. It, it's it's tough being a fan of of, uh, of Kendrick Lamar because he is one of the leaders of lyricism and one of the leaders of conceptual albums in 2020, but the motherfucker doesn't ever drop ever. I am done waiting for a new Kendrick Lamar. I'm done waiting for new Rihanna and I'm done waiting for somebody else and that they haven't dropped in so long that I don't even remember who it is. But Kendrick, oh, Bruno Mars. The music industry in today's internet age, it moves so quickly. And if these three people weren't the superstars that they are, they would have been long forgotten about because it's way too long between albums. But that's really all that I got to say. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. And we got new Buster Rhymes featuring Kendrick Lamar, Look Over Your Shoulder. Let's get it. Just look over your shoulders, honey. Yeah, I know. Spend a minute, spend a minute. Okay, I wasn't expecting no beat like this. I wrote my first bars in the car with Stacy. Mm. How bizarre my battle scars at large will lace me. Big marbles, nigga. I lead this new generation, boy, don't argue with us. Marvelous beat selectors, authors, and novel spitters. Oh, marvelous be selectors and authors and novel spit like bro that's fire but he said he leads the generation that's gonna get obviously that's gonna cause some kind of uh some kind of commentary in the in the hip-hop world and i i like agree but he just doesn't drop enough that would be my only thing that i like that i like have reservation on on kendrick being the best in the the best in this generation because he's because he just doesn't release enough but when he drops you know Marvelous beat selectors, authors, and novel spitters And it's all for the literature And it's all for the hideous, the nastiest flow, the chlamydia uh. mm. I ain't afraid to say I need you oh, yeah. I promise yeah. I'll never leave you oh, yeah. My life is like 12 I ain't afraid to say I need you, hip-hop And I promise I'll never leave you all, yeah Like, that talk is cheap, dog. You haven't dropped nothing So it's hard to say, like, I'll, I'll never I know you'll never leave us hanging, but You've been leaving us hanging for a couple of years now, but he's one of the goats. So, you know, he can do whatever he wants. As long as the next album is worth it, then, you know, no harm, no foul. My life is like 12 open mics of hopeless notes. I write for sure. My folks, you like soon as the flow get nice to vote to guys that scare yeah. disease. My prototype forever read my share of these. And are hold on, hold on, hold on. The fucking, the fucking rhyme scheme. All right, let's do this again. My, my, my life is like 12 open mics of hopeless night. I, the dog. My life is like 12 open mics of hopeless notes. I write for sure. My folks, you like soon as the flow get nice to vote to guys that scare MCs. My prototype forever read my share of these and RIPs. You know my type of style is like my everything. Apparently, my appetite stay famished, bite no hand that feed the culture. Vulture die and bleed. My focus, holy thoughts and dreams. Control is pen. Look over your shoulder. Hold these lines and rhymes and things. Devote my time and mind to see. Dog. Dog, dog, he's Kendrick is fucking serious. He is the let me think, let me think real quick. Anybody better with the pen than Kendrick Lamar? I mean, obviously, I have a, ha I have a huge Eminem fan base on this channel, so a lot of people are gonna say Eminem is better than Kendrick Lamar, and they're probably at the same level of penmanship. There's just something about Kendrick Lamar's like lyricism that just sets him apart from everybody else. I don't know. Obviously, obviously, Eminem is up there, but other than Eminem, and you know, I don't know, I don't know anybody else that can compare to Kendrick Lamar's pen, his ability to craft poetry, not even just not even just good rhymes and good bars. Like Eminem is a good bar spitter. He's a good rhymer. And I don't I don't see Eminem's lyricism as poetry so much, but Kendrick Lamar's lyricism, I definitely 100 do. Uh, 100 do I definitely 100% do see it as poetry like you can read this with no beat you could acapella you can read it as stand-up like open mic 
and sounds just like it sounds just as good as it would against a beat he said the flow gets nice the poltergeist that scares him sees my prototypes forever read my shares of d's like like he's a ghost like he's someone whose pain game is so fire that even if he doesn't put stuff out in a, at a very consistent basis he still scares him sees whenever he does come like a poltergeist you don't see poltergeist you don't hear see exorcisms they, they're not something they're not like they're not like commonplace so whenever they do come it's a monumental event and it is a scary event just like whenever he drops you know it's not that often but when he does he said my prototype forever reads my share of deeds and rips like all the people that have died and, and everybody that i had to pour liquor out for you know my type of style it's like everything apparently my appetite they famish bite no hands to feed like bro just the way that his words like flow off of the tongue and just the way that he rearranges sentences and phrases it's like it's like i said it's so poetic and this is 100 percent legitimately a style that he's mastered and he said they famish they bite no hands to feed like like they're starving so much that there, there's literally no hand that's feeding them so they can't even bite the hand that's feeding them because they're they're starving no one's even feeding them the culture vulture die and breed fire the boldest lines and rhymes and things devote my time and mind it seems i'm supposed to shine remind them king provoke the blind and bomb the feet the pros the cons the diamond rings of folk with time but i will bring the soul divine and cross between what's yours and mine's the gold the green the growth that showed just what it mean to grab your court and bite the wind and fly before my vocals to hip-hop look at my and then like just his just his delivery is so unique like his voice his voice is so unique and just the, the different it's almost like he has different characters within his within his deliveries like he delivers it in one way and it's kendrick lamar he delivers it in this way it's a different kendrick lamar he delivers it in this way it's a different kendrick lamar like he's more than one artist in one in one body it's dope and just the internal rhyme schemes bro it's crazy the boldest of lines that rhymes and things devote my time my mind it seems i'm supposed to Shine, remind them king provoke the blind and bomb the fiends the pros and cons of diamond rings i'm full to that with time but i'ma bring the soul divine and crop dog just that that's crazy this is such complex lyricism that I, I would have to think about what all this means on top of just the flow alone has got my mind like wrapped and, and entangled to where i can't even decipher the meaning of what he's even talking about and this is what i mean like it's so poetic like most rappers even eminem like you know is, if you have a good ear for rap if, you, if you're able to pick apart bars and just like in kind of the way that i do you can understand what's being said because it's very literal it's straightforward it's simile metaphor simile metaphor wordplay 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 simile metaphor extended metaphor like it's all right there in front of your face you just have to like learn how to read between the lines this type of poetry this is like a whole nother level this is conceptually based the lyrics are very cryptic and abstract and like you have to actually devote time into into catching and trying to figure out what he's saying and even then you might not even figure it out like that's the type of this is not the type of song that i'm gonna or a verse from kendrick that i'm gonna just be able to pick up on the first opportunity on, on the first listen you know and fly before my vocals for hip-hop look at my zip line bag full of goodies you chris rock hit the pookie and piss stops this poop sacks baby you a hell of a drug just look over your shoulders when they fuck you over there's love i know you Duh, kendrick's I mean, this is why sometimes I don't even mind that Kendrick takes forever to drop because it's it's like trying to dissect the song Mural by Lupe Fiasco. Like that's the same type of lyrical complexity that Kendrick Lamar has. And I, and, it, and it's easy to say and, it, and it's it's almost obvious that Kendrick Lamar is the Lupe Fiasco of this new generation of rap. Lupe obviously paved the way for someone with the poetic nature of Kendrick Lamar to have the mainstream success that he does. <laughs> Cover your shoulder, get me. Cause I don't body the game to the point niggas scared to rap with me. Rap kept me. burning to the anointing me, one of the kings of black history. Black history. Yes, mm. I see the game was a little different, niggas like simply. Like simply. Them bars and I spit them like darts till they puncture your kidney. Your, your trash, and it don't matter how much you want to try to convince me. Convince me. Uh, you gon' make my gun cock and on the way, yeah. Whoa. See, like, like everything, everything that Bust is saying is 100% true right here. Like, he's he's an OG in the game. He is at the he is at such a pinnacle height of 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 success in the rap game, and San has so much basically has respect from anybody that came after him. Like, he is a pioneer in, in this type of quick spit. It was very original when he did it. His lyricism was still on point, even with the quick spit. It wasn't just 
it wasn't just like all flash with no substance the substance was there and that's basically what he's talking about like i came in the game and people scared to rap with me because because they know i basically destroyed everybody that i've ever that i've ever faced they anointed me as one of the kings of black history which honestly you can clearly say that that's correct and just listen to the difference and how and how so much high level kendrick lamar's verses compared to this we're, we're four to eight bars in already of of a uh, busta other than the quick spit he's saying he's he's being pretty straightforward with what he's saying kendrick lamar like it's so abstract you have to go in there and try to like understand what he's saying where we're buster right here you don't have to do that as long as you can hear as long as you can make out the quick spit it's you know you get it's straightforward it's lyrical but it's straightforward buster's rhymes are not as poetic in the sense that like like kendrick's up here with tennyson and kendrick's up here with like all the all the greatest poets of all time i am the buddha the alibaba the believer or maker so pristine the dice roll from under my sleeve when i shake them so rude i'm so ice cold but i'm what you need to just break them all i'm crowns and medals on the wall waiting for me to just take Ooh, all your crowns and medals on the wall waiting for me to just take them dog that's fine he said he's he's the ice like you like you shake them and and i'm what you need when you need to wake them like literally like someone throws cold ice or, or ice cold water on you like sh it shocks you out of sleep you know my theme music got a pound to it pound to and when it. i leave even my shadow got a sound to it because i'm the god of the heart of the martyr the father i spit a saliva that's leaking the lava completing the saga while meeting and greeting and beating you niggas completely cover extremely barking the nigga you see me you deeply carve up a nigga believe me graffiti your armor you heebie you gb bikini your brother you give me pain now give me this other bitch Nah, uh, see, this is like Buster Rhymes just in his fucking bag right now. This is his bag. He's like, hold up, let me reach in that bitch and just get what I need, cause this is what this is what made him famous right here. Cause I'm the god of the harder, the martyr, the father. Like he's saying, like he's the god of this shit. Like he he sacrificed so that way the next generation could come up with his style. Dog, that's fire. Mama, you heebie, you jeebie, bikini, your brother, you give me pain. Now give me this other, but treat me, you greet me, you meet me with arms up. So sweet when I speak, have a heat. It was deep. I was sleeping, the gods up. Hmm. Upholding the fundamentals. Ah, oh, the way he just goes into that flow, and then at the very end of that, like, da -da 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 -da, like that, that, that triplet rhyme flow, he like switches it up and makes it more staccato, and then goes right back in, like he never did any of that. Like, oh, that was that was light work. You know what I'm saying? Do you realize how many people are gonna try to take this verse and try to memorize it, and it's gonna take them fucking a year before they even? And he's just, and he wrote it and spit it. He said, "See me now, give me the startup and treat me and greet me and meet me with arms up, so sweet when I speak, have a seat." It was deep, I was asleep, but now the God's up? Holy fuck. Sleep when I speak heavily, it was deep, I was sleeping, now the God's up. Hmm. Upholding the fundamentals while most of your most are rental. Focus on what's most Ooh. essential. Spit bars to provoke your mental. Do I have your attendimiento? While I clap these raps like thunders, look over your shoulder, boy, and wonder. God. Fire. So fire. He said, upholding the fundamentals while most of you boast a rental, like I'm upholding the game and, and rap at its core and what it's all about. It's all about the lyricism and, and the lyrics and, and speaking your pain through the mic and, and, and making it resonate with other people. But most of y'all are just out here flashing cars that you don't even come close to owning. And while you're over here flashing whips that you don't even come close to owning, I'm focused on the fundamental. I'm focused on bringing you rhymes that that enter your mental and like make you think and, and make you make you feel you know okay he can go all day go all day go all day that's why he mentioned Chris Rock. I mean, he may, he, as I'm talking about uh, Kendrick Lamar mentioned Chris Rock, but Chris Rock, I know, has been promoting the album. I've seen the YouTube ads. But anyway, yo, this is true hip hop in the way, in the form that it was meant to be. This right here is quintessential hip hop, like all the way down to the beat. The beat selection, the sample, like the higher pitch sample on the on the chorus. And then we have Busta Rhymes doing what he is iconic for doing, and like that quick spit right there in the middle of his verse. Then we have Kendrick Lamar, like coming out of retirement, basically, that's what it feels like and then he delivers a verse like this that's extremely conceptual like it's basically quintessential Buster Rhymes and it's quintessential poetic Kendrick Lamar and I'm about it because I like I said I've been fiending for some I've been fiending for K dot dog but that brings us to the end of this video ladies and gentlemen if you like what you see please consider liking the video leaving a comment down below I normally go a little bit more in depth than this but I figured that I wasn't going to get K dot's verse on the first listen and Buster Rhymes doesn't really have too many too much wordplay to go too crazy in depth so this is more of a true reaction but if you like in depth if you like the reaction if you like the discussion consider subscribing because this is how we do it around here follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter 
Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. Hit up the Discord, also linked in the description below. But that's all that I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.